So you have your blog page and you want to add posts from your custom post types into your blog page, maybe to simplify your navigation like I'm doing on my website. So let me show you exactly how to do that. It's actually very fast. So here I am on my website and this is the problem that I'm trying to solve by doing this. In my dashboard, I have two post types. I have my blog posts that are under here and I have my product reviews where I write reviews about WordPress plugins and software. So coming back to my main menu here under articles, this is my blog page that outputs my posts. And then if I click on reviews, this is my product reviews post type. But to be honest, I don't really think anyone's going here and clicking on reviews to see reviews about plugins that I'm reviewing. Most of the time people will search for a specific software in Google, for example, Bricks Builder Review, and then they click to go to my review and then they read it there. So I really don't think that it's necessary having that as an extra menu item. I may as well just combine my reviews with my articles. I think that's going to be better and it's going to simplify my website. So that's what I'm doing and this is how I'm going to do it. And by showing you how I do this, you can actually implement this into your own website. You just swap out where I add my reviews post type with your own custom post type. But I will point out exactly how to do that in today's video. Now, luckily for us, WordPress has a built-in feature that allows us to do exactly what we're trying to do today. And it's called pre-get posts. As the name suggests, before WordPress goes and gets our posts from the database, this is our last chance to hook in to the, the operation and change it a little bit. So before WordPress goes to the database on our blog page and gets all of our posts, we're hooking in here pre-get posts before it gets those posts and saying, hey, while you're there, why don't you get some posts from our custom post type as well? And then return the results of that query and then output them on our blog page. So knowing a little bit about the pre-get posts action, Go to wherever you add your custom code into your website. That might be in a code snippets plugin or that might be in your functions.php file inside of your child theme. If you're using a code snippets plugin, I definitely recommend sticking around to the end of this video because I want to let you know exactly how you can go and set up your own custom plugin, but more on that a little bit later on. But now that we're here, this is the code that I'm going to use in my website. So here, if we just zoom in a little bit, it says add action and then pre-get posts, and then on this action inside of WordPress, we're adding our own function to run. And this is that function there. Now you wanna make sure you write query in here. And here we check some conditions. And if these conditions are met, we set the post types in here. So before it goes to the database and gets the post, that last chance to do it, we're checking if it's our blog page, that's what is home is doing. It's a little bit confusing, but is home means is this our blog page? If it's our blog page and the query is the main query, then set the query to get the post types, the blog post, and then our custom post types here. And in my case, it's WP underscore review for my review post types. So if you're not sure what to put here for your custom post type, Go to your dashboard and then go and click on your post type. So click here. In your URL, you can see post underscore type equals and then that's there. So whatever this is, copy that and then come back in here and then paste that in there. So you want to make this code exactly the same as what I have here, but just replace whatever is in here. Now, if you want to combine multiple custom post types into this for whatever reason, then you can just do a comma and then put your next custom post type in here. Maybe it is something like locations, but I'll just go ahead and undo that. And with this code here, if I save this now, and I go back to my blog page, if I go down, so currently this was only getting our blog posts from the website, so there's five pages here. If I reload the page now, now it's changed to six. And if I go to page two, I can see there's my Bricks Builder review, which if I go back to my reviews post type, that is in fact a post from this reviews custom post type. Now, as I mentioned before, if you're using code snippet plugins to add custom code into your website, there is a way that is, in my opinion, easier to manage your custom code. And that's by creating your own custom plugin. And it might seem a bit daunting if you've never done it, but you actually, it's not really hard to do. You just need to know a couple of things to actually go and set this up in something like VS Code, which is the application here. In my spare time, I'm putting together mini courses that help people learn one specific thing in relation to managing their WordPress website. And I've just put together the first, I would say three quarters of one here called Code Snippet Plugins Are The Devil. And if we go into there, you can sort of get an understanding of what I'll show you in this course. You will be able to see what you will learn in here and why I think this course is valuable. And then also if you click to review the course outline, you can see the lessons that are in there. I have two other lessons that I'm gonna add in there. 
Uh, and they should be in there pretty shortly, like within the next week. Uh, but other than that, definitely go and check that out if you're looking to learn a little bit more about custom code and your website and you want to get away from code snippet plugins. So definitely check out. I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video.